through Brisbane's International Speedway, Trev, the voice and face of Queensland Speedway. Mate, I love the uh, I love the light show he's got going on the front of the Cush Clothing trailer up there as well. <laughs> oh, he's a superstar. Absolutely. Yeah, no, great to... Uh, Got to say, great to see uh, someone's dream become a reality and much bigger than they ever expected. I'll tell you what, as we said, Christmas time is coming, folks. If, you wanna, if you've got an absolute race fan in the family, trackside, shop, all those beautiful Speedway shirts, and then, of course, the wonderful Kush clothing gear up the other end. Don't forget, of course, you can always jump on the race team's Facebook pages, Trev. They have plenty of merchandise. You can't go down to the pit area to buy it at the moment, but you can certainly order it straight through the Facebook page. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, they'll only be too happy to help you out. And speaking of uh, Christmas coming up, I believe Rhino's got some new, uh, some new uh, female apparel coming in in the next week or so. So check that out as well. All right, open to dance, feature race time, 12 the journey, Robinson on the front row with Justin Randall out of turn four, we are green for the feature, and Robinson, as you'd expect, fires it down into turn one, and the race lead, Justin Randall in the second spot, Kabila having a look on Robin Baines as they go down the back for the first time, Eisenmanga as uh, Colin Morris gets a helping hand from Ben Harris in the 15, that's the B-grade sedan. Dylan Craft gets through on Morris as well. Then it's Elgin Dalton, Mark Anderson. Ricky, oh, look how Morris has gone around. And it looks like the Garden City car park on a Saturday morning. Clean up in aisle one. Anderson's been T-boned by Ricky Price Jr. Elgin Dalton got into the front of Morris. Oh, big damage on the six machine of Anderson. Yeah, a little front suspension as well, I think. Wow, they've been behaved pretty well all night until now. There's a bad moon on the rise. Yeah, the, uh, the, the States series, that's going to be absolutely fantastic. 11 laps remain. Robinson brings them back to the stripe. And we go racing once again. Here comes Justin Randall looking down the inside of Robinson, but he gets on the gas out of two. And stretches the lead. Robin Baines back there in third spot now, putting some pressure on the tail of that Tirana as Gary Kabila watches on. Then we go back to Eismanger. Then it's Ben Harris, leader of the B division from Dylan Craft. Elgin Dalton sits in third from Brad Hill and that lovely Tirana. Dragging a rare bar at the moment is Ricky Price Jr. in the 44. As Elgin Dalton brings in the cheaper skips car. Robinson still leads the A grade and outright down the back for the, once again. Phil, uh, sorry, Justin Randall back there in second spot. Robin Baines not able to do too much about that Tirana. It's a fairly good handling car. The AFCO shock doctor is eight laps remaining. As the field now spread out right around the racetrack, we look back to the B grade division. And Hill has cleared out well and truly from Dylan Craft. The battle for that division is probably third on the racetrack between, looks like Joel Gilson. As uh, we got a car around up there, that looks like the 12 car of Wells. Just looking at the colour scheme on the side of it that I can see, looks like it is correct. Wells' car. Up at the back of the field. I go fishing for a feature winner sticker. So we go back to racing. Robinson leads the group back to the stripe and clears away from Randall once again. Baines sits there in third, but can't do much about that little Tirana. He's tried everything. He's tried the high side, the low side. Looks like that rear bar's finally fallen off the Ricky Price Jr. car as everyone runs over it on the front straightaway. Just a piece of fiberglass, but Robinson ticking the laps down. Someone travelling slow on the old bike track. I think that's Morris in the 66. Looking back to the B grade is still being led by uh, 15 car there of Brad Hill of uh, Benny Harris. Joel Gilson, that's the battle throughout either division at the moment, and that's for third in the B graders. Being led at the moment by Gilson, then it's Ricky Price Jr. 
Brad Hill and Jamie Love going up high, right up over the cushion into three. Here comes Price Jr. now down the inside of Gilson who tries to shut the door down into one. They uh, touch as they get into there. And Price trying to leave it away open for himself on Gilston and does so as our race leader. Benny Robinson about to come up and put a lap on this pack, battling for third out, uh, third in the B class. Hill gets out of the way as Robinson runs over that uh, rear bar. Randall still there in second spot. Baines in third. Kavila, Eismanger. As Harris gets past one of the back markers, and that's Aaron Wells. Still Dylan Craft, the yellow lights are on once again. And I've got a funny feeling it's going to be to pick up the remains of that bar. No, mate, it's not. It's uh, our leader, Robbo, over the back straight. Oh, I can't see. It's trucks in the way. The number 10 is facing the wrong way. Oh, yeah, he is. I can see him now. Holy smoke. Oh, Jamie Love there has been trying the high side, the low side, but can't make any ground on the cars in front. We have two laps remaining. As Randall brings him back to the green, Robin Baines can sniff a victory if he can get past the Tirana with a tour and a half of the clay way to go. Baines can't put it down the inside. Randall parks at Tirana right on the bottom. Kavila thinks that maybe he could get second. Harris has got away from Kraft. Price Jr.'s in third and comfortable. Yellow lights again, it's Jamie Love. He's got some camera coverage tonight, mate. And it's race declared. Race declared, folks. Put your hands together for the Tirana of Justin Randall. And coming, winning the B grade division. Put your hands together for the uh, Commodore car number 15 of Ben Harris. Wow, great job from all concerned. We'll just quickly have a chat to these guys very, very quickly. Well, there you go, Justin, feature winner sticker. Well done, buddy. The Tirana performed faultlessly. Beautiful job. Yeah, struggled a little bit with a bit of push tonight, but still good and had plenty of fun. Just bad luck for Benny. Must have spun out, eh? Those AFCOs worked a treat, mate. Well done. Yeah, special thanks to the old man. Without him, I wouldn't even be here, so all, all, all the credit goes to him. Good job. There we go, winner of the A-grade division, winner of the B-grades. Folks, put your hands together for Ben Harris. There you go, mate. Congratulations, mate. Uh, Dylan Craft had the wood in the heats early, but once the track slickened off a bit, this thing took off. Yeah, it was a bit, um, it was like racing on ice then. I was trying to, yeah, just keep it steady the whole time and, um, yeah, ended up getting it. So, yeah, no, all good. Congratulations, mate. Well done. Thanks, mate. There we go. Our, our two feature winners tonight in the A and B grade division. <laughs>